Russia's attack on the people of Ukraine is in its fifth week with no end in sight. Millions around the world have joined in prayer, hoping for the invasion to come to an end. One local priest looking to take it one step further by jumping on his bike and riding for peace. Meet Father Tom O'Neill in this week's Street Stories. A retired priest impacted by the unprovoked war in Ukraine. Time to go. I'm sad because of all that carnage. The pictures and video devastating. When the troop movements around the Ukraine started to increase and spread more and more, when there were conversations about that, something inside of me started to churn. According to the United Nations Human Rights Office, more than 1,100 civilians have died in Ukraine, not including the thousands injured. The attack on the Ukrainian people moved retired priest Father Thomas O'Neill to begin a pilgrimage more than 4,600 miles away from the war-torn area. I said I need to do this. Get on the bike and go. Visiting churches in Warren, East Providence and Providence. Because I think we pray with our whole body. We pray with our feet. Uh, we're pilgrims on this earth. It's symbolic of that. Hoping his prayer could be heard. I felt helpless. What can I do but pray? I thought that what I would do is make my way to some of the churches between here and Providence and pray. If they were unlocked, I'd go inside and pray. If they were locked, I'd either pray outside or I'd look around for a shrine or a prayer corner and pray there. And my prayer was a prayer that the Ukrainian people may live in peace because my prayer was answered with a no. Father O'Neill says that's okay with God, not okay in terms of what happened and who did it. And what's happening now shouldn't surprise anyone. The Ukrainian people, in large part, have had a lot of horrible experiences under the heel of Russia. Uh, a lot of them starved in the 30s. Russia took their food. Why would the Ukraine want to have anything to do with Russia, based on the history? Father O'Neill has a message for everyone this Lenten season. Use your own imagination, I suggest, to think of how you might carry the presence of Christ and the plight of the people of the Ukraine in your mind, heart, and soul. Despite the continued attacks, Father O'Neill is still hopeful for a peaceful end to the war. Now, if you're looking for ways to help out the people of Ukraine, we have that info for you on our website, WPRI.com.